hey girl hey welcome back to my channel so today it's kind of um i don't want to say negative video but it is going to be kind of a ranty video um i saw this video on beauty by benji here on youtube and i really just thought that this should be a tag video to be honest with you um so i kind of tagged myself um she did give me permission to go ahead and do this on my video um, i will leave her channel and her original video down below in the description bar um so definitely check hers out um but i'm going to be discussing products um, or whether it's hyped up products or popular products or just products in general that us women of color cannot try because they don't have the option I did want to do a disclaimer on this video um, by no means am I bashing these brands in this video um, actually in this video every brand that I talk about I do own and use and love products that they make but these are specifically products um, and even some of them are lines that can do better that should do better that I want to do better because I want to try their products I'm not saying they should do this and I'm never going to buy anything from them um, in that case there would be no point to this video but these are companies and products that I would like to try and I don't have the opportunity because they don't cater to my skin tone so um, yeah let's go ahead and get right into it I do have my list here that I'm reading off of. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more products other than the ones I'm gonna discuss here, but these are just the first ones that popped into my head. Maybe I'll continue to do them in the future because products are always coming out that sometimes we just can't wear. So the first thing that I think about when I think about products that I would love to try, but I can't, is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. Oh, that's mouthful um i hear so many people talk about this concealer as like their holy girl concealer and i would love to try it but i cannot because their deepest color is the color honey and it doesn't even look like honey to me it is i don't know if you can see this this is what it looks like it is so light i've tried it myself I just think it's really sad that they haven't expanded knowing how popular this product is um, it's just it sucks that we're not able to use it so that is a product that I would love to try um, the next one is not necessarily just a product but honestly a brand and it is it cosmetics um, it cosmetics I've heard so much great things specifically about their CC um, CC cream foundation um, I've heard that is really great coverage it, it's not heavy I've just heard so many great things about it but the deepest color that they consider deep or tan or whatever the case may be it is lighter than me and I'm not even um in black girl speak super dark so the fact that it's too light for me you really need to do better in cosmetics it's that's it's just really ridiculous um i just just many of their products i they're, they're just too too light the only thing i have tried to use and it wasn't as bad was concealer and that is only because concealer is supposed to be lighter so that did work for me but any other foundation product or, or base product is just way too light and I think that's something that they really should work on um, and I do like their products they're um, I have their pore minimizing powder it's just a really beautiful powder i'm sure that they make great products but unfortunately i don't have the option to try it um another thing is a brand as well is physicians formula um their butter bronzers everybody talks about their butter bronzers and they are the lightest thing even for people who i've seen on youtube who are light like kathleen lights it barely showed up on her the the lighter ones and then they came out with blushes and that again look are gonna look like straight up ash on somebody my skin tone even a little bit lighter than me there are foundations their concealers any of their complexion products blushes bronzers it's just way way too light i think it's ridiculous that you are in a drugstore 
CVS, um, Walgreens, that is caters to everybody. This isn't a specific store for a specific group of people. If you are in a drugstore, you need to be able to be accessible and open to all skin tones. And I just think it's really, really sad that they're not and they haven't even attempted to do so. Um, and that's what really makes it really bad about most of these brands is I don't even see the attempt. You know, with It Cosmetics, I will kind of give them some credit they do have what they consider deep colors um they just did it wrong whereas physicians formula they don't even have a deep they don't even have that in their vocabulary and i just think that is really ridiculous the next thing is the chanel soleil dance the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel makeup base. It's the bronzer, the pop bronzer that a lot of uh, people swear by. Um, it only comes in one shade, so I will at least give them that. It's not like they're trying to, they've excluded a lot of people, to be honest, not just deep, not just, uh, it excludes fair people as well, as well. So they are excluding a lot of people, but I do think that Chanel should come out with more. We want to all be able to try this product that is such a hyped up holy grail product for so many people and you only have one color you could at least give three light medium deep something you know um to give more people the chance to try it but i um i've always wanted to try it you know i i like i said in a previous video the fact that companies don't think women of color want to bronze their skin is ridiculous to me we do like bronze skin as well i love a good bronzer so that is one thing that i um, have always wanted to try and i just can't um another bronzer is the hourglass bronzers now i love hourglass products i think they are very well made um i think that they um look beautiful when they do work for you but they came out with these bronzers and the one that they consider medium to deep is just look like a highlighter on my skin. I did purchase it before. It does not work for me. Um, it's not a it's not a bad product on my skin. Like I said, it, it does give you like a glow, but it's not a bronzer. It is nothing that I would use to bronze up my skin. It is literally just uh, like an illuminator, just illuminates my skin. Um, like I said, I don't think it's a bad product. It's just not what it's intended for. And I do think that they need to expand their range. Um, even when they come out with those um, holiday sets, they don't, they're not very capable of catering to uh, deeper skinned ladies or even sometimes medium. They're not very um, good at that either. So I definitely think that they should improve on their, that range and include it because it, they make great products. And lastly, the last product that I wanted to discuss was the Sonia Kashuk Pro Matte Foundation. I've heard um, great things about this specifically from Casey Holmes here on YouTube. And I went and straight, I love her videos. I love everything she recommends because she also has oily skin. And I just think she's really unbiased with a lot of her videos and I just ran out and wanted to try it and when I saw their deepest color I was just completely devastated I think it's really again being in a store like Target which is targeting mass people you have to do better you really have to do better it's different you know even with Chanel it's a very exclusive type of brand so they don't have to be as open-minded I feel like um, I would like them to be of course but they don't have to be but when it comes to uh, companies that are in these big stores Walmart Target drug stores you need to have inclusivity I think it should be a requirement on targets and as the company that is holding them in their stores to include all of their um, customers because I just I just don't think that's that's fair at all so um, that is it for this video I know it does kind of sound like a negative video and I, I didn't want it to be too negative but I do think this is something that needs to be said I think it's something that needs to be out there um, because it is a problem especially 
now that Rihanna has come out with her line and you saw how big of a deal it is for women of color, even the fairest of people, people with um, alb albinos that have albinism, they were able to find things that work for their skin. And you now see that, you know, the whole women of color don't buy our products. That's why we didn't do it. It's it's a false. It's a false statement. It's false facts. <laughs> um, I just, I don't, I don't, I Think that they need to do better and I did really like Beauty Benji for doing this video and putting it out there it may not be a popular video for her being a bigger YouTube me being a smaller YouTube I don't care I'm going to put out the content that I feel should be out there and this is one of those things so I do hope you enjoyed this video um, I, there's plenty more I could talk about maybe if um, you want I will do another video in the uh, future on some more products but as of right now these were the few products that popped into my head head um, so yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions comments or concerns definitely leave it in the uh, comment section below and until next time guys bye